Coach, you want to start us with an opening statement? Sure, sure. Uh, not a lot to say, really. I mean, uh, I think Crowder would have beaten a lot of teams in the country tonight. I thought he was excellent. I thought he was throwing two pitches where he wanted early. He had the change later. Uh, it was just on. I mean, he was in when he wanted to be. He was away when he wanted to be. Uh, nobody's really stuck it to our offense like that all year. Uh, I just thought it was the fact that uh, he controlled the day. And that's that's really all I have. Okay. Uh, we'll go with student, uh, questions for the student athletes first. Please raise your hand and identify yourself in your athletes before you go. Right. Uh, Todd Golden with the Tribune Star. Randall, uh, what from your perspective as a batter, what made Crowder uh, so difficult? I know you did get the home run off of him, but what what made him tough today? I mean, we we um, he was attacking the zone, you know. So like, <clears throat> I mean, he he was spotting every pitch that he wanted to to like to spot. Like, you know, it's like. And like we, we just gotta do a better job, like attacking the the pitches. You know, it's like that's why he all, everything that he w was doing. You know, it was like just attacking the sound, like and get a foul like early and get a, uh, get us out of balance. Randall, again, what what was kind of the mood in the dugout among the offensive players trying to get a redone on Crowder? Was was there any discussion in the dugout about anything that could be done to try to solve him? I think we, we need to do a better job like to keep the energy on the dugout, you know, it's like I feel the guys, um, including me, like we were like down a little when they like scored two runs. Um well, we need to do a better job like on the dugout and all that, just bounce bounce back like more quicker, you know. Burke Ranger D one baseball. Zach, I know you're no stranger to throwing multiple innings out of the pen, but this is your first start of the season. How did, your, how did that change your preparation for this outing as opposed to coming out of the pen? Um, I didn't really change much. I kind of just did what I usually do, short game of catch, and be ready to go out there. And then what did you think was working today, or, or were there any, any pitches that, that weren't working for you today that worked better in the, in the conference during the last weekend? I think I was probably struggling a lot more with the fastball. Um, the... Like third inning, I think I was just started hitting that curveball. I start was able to be able to throw that for a strike, and that's what helped me out to get through that those last couple innings. And then Randall, as a leader of this offense and a leader of the infield, you got a short turnaround tomorrow. What do you tell the team to get them ready to play tomorrow? Afternoon? So we we need to come to the field like we all the energy that we need to to be like since the beginning, since BP, since we get out of the bus, you know. So I'll, I'll make sure that we're gonna bounce back tomorrow. Any further for the student athletes? Thanks, guys. You're free to go. All right, questions for Coach? Mitch, uh, what was your sense when you took out of how the batters tried to uh, get a handle on Crowder? I, I just, you know, I think when a guy's got some velocity and he's he's landing and hitting spots you know we talked about doing a better job of getting on top of the baseball I think a lot of guys were getting getting beat you know he did a good job mixing in mixing in a, a breaking ball and then he was cutting his fastball once in a while and I don't know if it was by accident but I think it certainly helped him you know you'd look up there and it sure looked like it had some cut away and it was 92 I think and then you'd see 94 95 on the on the four seamer so I, I think he did just enough by cutting it, whether he was doing it on purpose or or not, of really keeping us off balance. I didn't feel like I didn't feel like he he really came in a lot, and then he tried to come in on Diaz and he hit the home run, and from that point he pretty much uh, stayed away. I think from from my perspective, it was trying to figure out how to handle a, a bullpen and not blow it all, not use it all uh, when you're not scoring runs, try to figure out a way to stay in the game. And that it's a task when you walk nine people. Um, but we were just trying to keep running some guys through there and recycle some guys through to try to keep it at, at least a one or two run game. Perhaps it's academic, but you know Crowder early in the game got ahead in counts. I think he was ahead on eight of the first nine batters. I mean. How much do you think that helped his whole outing a little bit? He never really had to work too hard through those good pass. Well, I, I think the I think the ability to land pitches, you know, I I don't know if you guys kept track. I was trying to, but I, I think it was 
it might have been the sixth or seventh inning before he missed up. And when you see that, you know, a guy's really, he's on that day and he's, he's moving it in and out, but he just wasn't missing a lot. And when he, he missed, he was missing into the shadow zones or missing into good areas. He wasn't missing back to our barrels. And that's what really made him so effective. When he missed, he missed away from barrels and he just didn't, he didn't miss up until it was the sixth or seventh. I don't count Keto in that because he's five six, but in terms of the guys I watched, he just didn't mess up. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the decision to go with Zach today and, and what kind of played into that? Well, the last, if you followed us the last month, you know we've struggled to get the first four or five innings. So we just kind of flipped it tonight. The, the thought was if we could get Zach for four or five and flip him and Jared, it might be beneficial to us. Uh, I really wanted to get a little more out of Pruitt, but he was erratic. You know, we were hoping to get two innings out of him, and that, that caught us a little bit. And then is, is cuts the guy tomorrow? No, we'll throw Hayden tomorrow. Okay. In the back. Uh, Graham Keeter, with Coach, you guys have lost Friday games all season and bounced back in one. Now you're staring down the hole tomorrow in elimination. How do you think this team will, will bounce back starting early tomorrow? Well, we'll, we'll find out. I mean, obviously, that we've we've just had some gaps offensively that the the guys need to to pick it up for us. It seems like we've had a few guys since the conference tournament started that just haven't really been swinging it. And it it, it seems like that has cost us a little bit. Uh, just felt like felt like those guys that haven't been swinging it as well are in a hurry. They're not taking pitches. They're not seeing pitches. They're up there trying to get the AB over with, and that. That really helped Crowder too, because I thought there were there that section of guys. I thought there were two or three really quick innings. Matt Stevens, I wanted to ask Mitch. Um, it's Crowder's thirty-second career start, fifteen other. I imagine you had a book on him, but was it the sure. cutter that just kind of surprised you guys more than anything in it, or was there something specific he was doing that you didn't have a book on? No, I, we we faced him. Uh, we faced him. He came in in relief last year at our place, in about the. Uh, seventh or eighth inning and we ended up playing a 15 inning game and Crowder pitched all of it and we were fortunate we hit a walk walk off home run against him in the 15th uh, so we've seen him before we know what he's capable of um, I think I think he's you'd have to ask Dan in terms of his consistency over time um, but I've seen him a few times really really good like that I mean we're an hour apart and we see each other in the fall and uh, in the spring twice so uh, we definitely knew what he was capable of and knew if we let him settle in tonight, we would, we would have our hands full. I think the big thing for me, and I, I know you guys probably saw it too, his composure on the mound was excellent tonight. You could, just, you could just tell that he was ready to go and he was in the fight and we were going to get his best. Any further for Coach? Thank you. Good. Appreciate it.